Okay, so let's make a frog. You're probably asking yourself, how is he going to make a frog with six horseshoes? Well, here's my handy dandy dandy fancy dancy TIG 200 from Lincoln. And let's turn it on and get started. First, oh, I think, yeah, that's fine. 120. Eh. All right. These are going to be the legs. All right, so let me weld those and we'll come right back. All right, so these are the legs. I welded the legs. By the way, I'm using silicone bronze rod, as you can see. Silicone bronze melts like butter and it uh, really does a nice weld. I'm painting right over the, I mean, I'm welding right over the weld. I mean, I get it straight. I'm painting right over the paint. So, yeah, but it has no problem welding. See the nice weld? All right, let's continue. First, I'm gonna put this on here, like this. All right, let me weld that together and then we'll take it to the next step. All right. You know, trying to keep it together is the, the hardest part. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall. I'm gonna to try to weld this without having it fall. But yeah, so let me weld it and then we'll get back to what I was doing. Those are the front legs. I guess, I don't know. That could be the body in the back. I don't know, but we'll get it. Just follow my lead. You need six horseshoes. Still smoking. All right. All right. So now I got to weld a little warm this to that. So let me turn this around. All right. As you can see, the distance is not the same here, but I wanted to keep keep that gap and this gap the same if I put it closer to here then it's not the same so I like things pretty even this is the back side so you won't really see it but I'll, I'll have to figure it out but you won't see it because it's in the back so here we go all right I don't know if you can see it real well. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not. Let's try this. There we go. Is that better? And there's the weld on that one. Alright. I am going to go back and weld everything like I get my finger in there. In the back. Underneath that one. And I'm not sure up here. but Alright. Let's take it to the next step. Okay. I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand or not but the next step is the mouth um, I'm gonna have it like this and then the other one basically is gonna be sitting like like this so let me get it set up and then uh, again we'll take it from there I think the worst part about doing this little project is getting it set up and something has to hold it in place while you're welding it. So you got to use your imagination and find a way to keep it in place. All right, so I'm just using an empty can and I'm going to go ahead and weld. weld it here and there. And then uh, I'll have to weld, where is it, oh. the top of the mouth uh, like this. But let's do one thing at a time. All right. All right. Let's get the brush. She's still smoking. The noise you're hearing is the welder. So I hope you can hear me. That's why I'm screaming. All right, that part's done. Now let's weld this little guy over here. 
All right, I'll have to figure out a way to hold it in place as well. I can take this off. Whoop. Okay. All right, so let me figure out how I'm gonna hold this while I'm trying to weld it. All right, I'm holding it in place very carefully. I'll probably just tack it real quick right there just so it stays in place. Then I'll turn it upside down and weld it some more. All right, so far so good. Is it starting to look like a frog? Yeah, so I've got another one over here. I didn't want to show it to you, but now it came into the, uh... all right, this is what's gonna look like at the end, but better. All right, so let me finish this up. All right, well, I got it tacked. Now if I don't burn myself, I'll go ahead and weld everything up. Uh, over here. Let's see. Over here. And there we go. Now I can actually put my hand in there and do what I need to do to weld it. All right. Let's weld it up. All right. Right now I'm going to weld here. I'm going to weld it there and I'm going to weld it there just for reinforcement maybe in here although may not need it but let me do that and then we'll continue by the way I'm using both 160 and I think I think this is 330 seconds yeah it's just the next size up so right now I'm going to use three on this because I just need a small fill in. Same thing over there. All right, just so you know, again, silicone bronze. Okay, so like I said, I used 1 16th at the bottom because it didn't need that much material. Same thing over here and same thing over there. All right, let's turn it upside up and see what else we can do here. Okay, I did a little reinforcement right in here almost on both sides so yeah I wonder if I need maybe I'll hit it there too yeah just a little bit fill in that gap okay I'll do both sides all right so now you're wondering okay how's that look for like a frog well wait till I put these eyes on there and paint it green you'll think twice all right, so let me put the eyes on and then we'll paint it green and then we'll do other things and I think it'll be a nice looking frog. Like I said before, it's uh, the hardest thing to do is to hold things in place while you're doing this. So I think I got the eye where I want it. So let's weld that puppy before it falls off. All right, then I'll do the other one. All right, well, these aren't my best wells, but it was fighting me all the way because these are old bearings and they had oil in them. And so the oil was actually coming out and I had to get some of it off. You can still see it's wet. <clears throat> anyway, it'll hold, I think. Yeah, it's on there. I mean, you'd have to hit it pretty hard to get it off. All right, so let's turn it up. I always wear gloves, all I can say that. All right, so there you have it. I do have to put some beads in it. See the bead? I bought a bunch of beads over at the dollar store. They will go in here. But let me get it painted first. And then uh, once it cools down a little bit and it dries a little bit, we'll put the beads in and we'll see how it looks uh, as a matter of fact this is my old frog that i had in the backyard it's full of dirt and i'm gonna have to clean it up so i can paint them both together repaint them actually so i'll repaint that one and so i gotta get my fluorescent green out and let's see what the final product will look like here in a minute by the way um 
I'm almost 70 years old and I use a magnifier. I don't know. This is an old helmet. It's an old style helmet. Yeah. I think they still sell them. But inside here is a magnifier. So, and you can buy different strength. But this is an actual, you see that? It's a magnifier and it really helps folks like me that uh, can't see clearly close up. So, yeah, I really like this. Um, and I also wear glasses, so yeah, this really helps. You gotta be able to see clearly to do a good weld. If you can't see clearly, something's wrong. Either have your eyes checked, clean your lenses, and I think I'm using a number 10, is it? 10 or 12. I don't know, 10 or 11, I mean. Let me see. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a 10. I don't know if you can see it. Right there, sort of. Number 10. As well as a clear lens in front. So, all right, just a little more advice for you guys. All right, let me close this up and put it back together. Also, when you do a lot of welding, this to protect your neck so your neck doesn't turn red. I used to work at a plant where I did all the welding for the company. And after a while, my neck really got red. I don't like those other helmets that are clear and then they go dark when you hit a spark. Because a lot of times, all it takes is a fraction of a second to get that flash in your eyes. And I'll tell you what, I'm here to protect my eyes. So I use the old style, a little dirty here. You can see the magnifier, see that? Um, I use the old style helmet, a little heavier. And of course, this is when you sweat a lot, pretty dirty. But yeah, this works for me. I'll probably never get rid of it. Um, like I said, I don't like the old style. I've had to replace this once because this broke. But, um, yeah, you can still get these helmets, I'm pretty sure. But I do like the fact that this does protect your neck. All right. All right, so what do you think? I like it. I'm playing with my dog here. He's giving me a hard time. So, yeah, there's the finished product. And, yeah looks good looks good i like it so that's what you can do with six horseshoes a couple beads from the dollar store and a couple bearings old bearings you can use anything actually on that one i just used washers and some marbles and for the for the eyes so this one's a little different so there you have it thanks for watching Please subscribe. I'm always doing something. Always, 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 always. Including playing with this puppy dog that likes to bite. He loves to bite. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the bell and subscribe and like it. And we'll talk to you again soon.